In this video, I'm gonna be explaining the people that if you want to continue your journey as a non-drinker or you actually wanna beat this problem once and for all, I'm gonna be explaining the people that you absolutely must avoid, but more importantly, the people who you should spend more time with. To me, this is a bit of a cheat code, right? When you understand what I'm gonna explain in this video, it actually fast tracks your results in life. It makes things like getting healthy better, it makes things like relationships better, it makes your business and your career improve, and that will make sense as we get further into the video. But if you watch this video in full and you apply it, it's going to change your life in a great way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just before we get into the video, if you actually want my personal help stopping drinking and you want to join the Sober Clear program where we reframe how you view alcohol using first principles thinking, and then we use coaching and have a community of business owners and professionals to do this with, click the link in the description. There'll be a short video to watch that explains how I work with people, how the program works, and then after you've watched that, you can book a call with me and we can see if this program could be a good match for you. But now back to the video. Now, in my experience back when I was drinking alcohol, I kept a lot of drinkers in my life, right? A lot of my friends, a lot of the people I spent time with drank alcohol. And then what happened after I made the decision to stop drinking just under four years ago, those people, well, we stopped having the same thing in common, right? We were friends when we drank and then, you know, there wasn't really deep relationships there. This is just my experience. It might not be everybody's experience, but I started moving away from people that I drank with and really just kind of separated myself from that pack. I definitely, definitely stayed in touch with people that did drink and I still have friends that drink today. But the people that I, that I would regularly drink with, well, those relationships just kind of disappeared. And that happens, right? When we stop drinking alcohol, we can start breaking away from certain individuals. And what happens when we stop drinking is life starts getting better, right? We start wanting to step up. We wanna spend more time with the family, go to the gym, do hobbies, have fun, new experiences, etc., etc. And there will be some people in your life that aren't willing to go there. They don't care about that stuff, right? What they wanna do is they just wanna keep where they are, they wanna keep drinking, they're not too worried about progress. And when you stop drinking alcohol, you know what can happen, and it's painful to admit, but some people just might move away from you. Some relationships just won't serve you anymore, and that's okay. And I'm not saying that you need to avoid these people, but there will be some people that just aren't gonna be supportive of your decision. Maybe not, not for everybody, but there will be some people that as soon as you tell them that you're gonna stop drinking, they're gonna attack you, because they're gonna feel personally attacked. But you might be thinking, Leon, that's obvious. Of course I know this. So then who do I spend my time with? So I'm going to explain it with a bit of context. So when I first stopped drinking, I got back to the gym as a personal trainer. Uh, and then what I did is I booked a one-way flight to Chiang Mai in Thailand. There was one friend that lived in Thailand and there was one individual that I'd been speaking to on the internet and uh, he ran this, you know, really awesome online business and he just really had an awesome life in Thailand. So I booked a one-way flight over to Thailand. And I just said to myself, you know, I'll figure it out when I get here. There's lots of other people out there in Chiang Mai that have got online businesses, they're digital entrepreneurs. And I said, that's probably the perfect place to go to start my journey. Because once I stopped drinking alcohol, I wanted to build an online business, right? I, that was, this has always been my dream to do this kind of stuff, you know, help people make content, post on the internet. That had always been my dream. And I realized that I needed to be around that energy. I needed to be around other people doing this because I needed to see that it was possible for me. So I booked this flight and lo and behold, I'm meeting new people and people are successful. People have got these online businesses. People are doing really well for themselves. And all of a sudden, all the people around me are doing well and I'm there at ground zero with nothing. And guess what happened? Well, I had to up my game. And this will make sense in a minute, but this is what I'm saying. These are the people that you need to surround yourself with, right? You need to think about the results that you want in your life. If you want to have an, a business of some kind and all of your friends are employed, nothing wrong with that, but all of your friends are employed and nobody's got a business, well, you probably want to spend your time with people that are where you want to get to next. I'm not saying you need to like cut people out or anything like that, but it's so true that we really are the average of the five people that we spend the most time with. And what happened to me after being in that environment is I just had to up the game. I had to up the ante. I really had to just push myself because now I've got all these people that are successful around me and I'm just really nowhere because I've been flipping drinking and destroying my life. But now all of a sudden, it's like game on. And what I found is like lots of people were doing YouTube and people were solving problems. And I just realized like, okay, this is possible for me as well. And it changed my worldview on, you know, doing what I wanted to do. And what inspired me to make this video is I'm in, I'm in a group chat with some friends and I, I, I spoke about this previously on the channel, but in this chat, I've got friends that are 
way more successful than me. They've got, you know, they've built their own houses. They're way stronger than me. They're fitter than me. And having these people in my life is a little bit uncomfortable, right? They're, they're, they're doing better in different areas than I am. But what this makes me do is it makes me step up. It gives me somebody to, you know, to model. And what I think, and if we do this, if we try to spend time with people that have got the result that we want, then, then we start aiming towards something better. And it's why when you stop drinking, what I really encourage you to do is to actually put yourself out there, is to try and meet some new people. You know, if you want to be, I don't know, a better Christian, then get around other Christians. If you want to be a better Muslim, get around other Muslims. If you want to be fitter and stronger, then get to a better gym with fitter and stronger people. You want to get people around you that are really going to elevate you, not people that are going to slow you down and hold you back and, and keep you in that old state of mind that you were in before. And whilst it's uncomfortable to be around people that are actually better than you, it will benefit your life in a massive way. Have a great day.